Okay, so yesterday I installed a new battery and a Kingspec 128 SSD into my first generation MacBook Air. Um, I bought this Mac. This is an in, indeed the first generation. You'll see that it's MacBook 1.1. If I come to the ATA, this now shows that it has a King Spec uh, KSD ZF 18.6128, which is 126.96 gigabytes formatted. Um, and then if I come down to power, it now shows that I have a cycle count of one. Uh, I do believe it goes out to 300 on the MacBook uh, Air as far as how many cycles you get on a battery. Uh, before I wasn't able to do much as far as out in the field just because the battery would die like within a half hour, 45 minutes. So unless I was connected to power, I couldn't really do much of anything. Uh, overall, it, it feels like a pretty much new machine. Uh, it's by no means a new MacBook Air, but it is a lot quicker, a lot more responsive. Um, applications don't take anywhere near as long to launch as they did before. Before you'd get the, the bouncing icon in the dock for probably 20-30 bounces. So Photoshop launched fairly quickly there. Once again, this isn't going to be a brand new machine, but it does feel night and day like a different machine. Uh, speed test on the new SSD. Uh, the built-in spinning hard drive, I was getting, uh, I do believe, something like 16. Along the lines of about 16. I'll, uh, so 35 is double the write speed, and then I'm getting about 80. Outside of that, the installation was pretty pretty straightforward. Um, do make sure that you have the double zero Phillips screwdriver uh, handy. I've had three or four kits that miraculously all of them were missing that screwdriver. So the longest part of my installation process was hunting down a screwdriver. Um, since I had never cracked the case on this one before, everything seemed to be kind of sticky inside. Not like somebody spilled the soda or something, rather, but I mean, things tend to stick to the, the board in there for whatever reason. And there was a one hidden screw on the, the hard drive case that holds a, a cable there that you really have to look for that I didn't see. Um, I used the iFixit video, which I'll put a link to in my blog post. But outside of that, I mean, I couldn't recommend this little update more. I just happened to have $200, which got me the battery the hard drive, and then an external case which I used to do carbon copy cloner so that way when I put the SSD in it was just ready to go with the files that I had on it from previous from the previous hard drive internally. So once again, uh, thanks for watching. I'll put up uh, some boot uh, times as well in this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.